Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is another episode from the Amazon review series. Got a, another package in today. Uh, comes in pretty much like this. I came in a box as well, but this is how they send it from the company. And this is by Vastfire, uh, also known as uh, Vastfire Lite. I have uh, done some things with their products before. Let's go ahead and check this one out and see what they've got for me this time. All right, guys, so here we go. Uh, we've got, well, another light, obviously, Vast Fire. That is what they're known for. And uh, let's go over. We'll do the quick things first. Uh, we've got battery sleeves. Uh, now these, of course, are for changing the size of the batteries that you use with this. And then we've also got this uh, USB micro to uh, USB-A. Uh, and this, of course, is going to be charging it. Just plug it into any charger that you may have, as well as your computer, laptop, etc., even a battery bank. And then we've got the flashlight right here. Now you can see this is a pretty beefy one. Uh, definitely, I don't have too many bigger ones like this. I have a lot of those small ones, more pocket and kind of survivalist style ones. And definitely wanted something that was a little bigger. Uh, it's got some weight to it too. As you can see, the ends are kind of uh, uh, scalloped, I guess is what you might call that. And uh, that's kind of because it's a little bit for protection. Now these aren't sharpened. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty blunt there, but uh, this is nice and heavy duty. It is machined aluminum. And we'll go ahead and start with the back end here. We've got uh, the lanyard, which is a nice soft round cord. It's not a uh, paracord, but it is a very nice cord uh, as it is. Has a little bead here that kind of, you know, gives it uh, some tensioning. And then it also has a little push button keeper there, uh, sort of like a bolo tie does. And you can, of course, cinch it down on maybe your wrist or something like that. And uh, that works nice. And then the cool thing, it also just pops right out. So if you need to release it uh, for any reason, you've got a quick release there. Uh, then you've got uh, the back end. Of course, this is where it unscrews and where you're going to put the batteries in at. Let's go ahead and check that out. Now, as I remember, it does come with batteries, as we can see by the paper there. And you can see these are some pretty decent size hefty batteries. Uh, these are different than what you're used to seeing, I'm sure. And obviously, that's where the sleeve comes into play. These are 26 650s, and these are each uh, 8,000 milliamp hours at 3.7 volts. So these are the lithium style batteries. Now, I'm sure that you remember if you've seen any of the other videos or have any of the smaller kind of survival flashlights, the other model is an 18650, which is actually one that will work with this because the lengths are the same. It's just the diameters are different. Kind of like the difference between an A and a C battery or a double A and a C battery. Um, diameters are different, but they have the same voltage. It's just, uh, you know, they're the same length as well. You just, you know, don't work very well. Well, here you go. You put an 18650 in here and then you can run it off of that. It obviously just won't run for as long. So uh, now with these, these ones don't have the, the nipple on it, but you can tell this one is definitely a flat side and this is a slightly raised side. Uh, raised side goes in first, basically the same way as any other flashlight. This is really nice. Instead of a standard knurling on the handle, they have what looks like originally they have vertical lines cut down through it and then they took and they put this spiral on it to give it this kind of really neat look but uh, yeah it's 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 fairly comfortable it doesn't uh, it doesn't have like sharp points or anything that that dig into your hand it feels nice but it doesn't feel like it's gonna come out of my hand at all uh, now we've got uh, a few little things right here around the circumference the first thing we've got here that I'll look at is obviously the charging port or connector and the interesting thing about this is you can charge this and obviously use your micro USB to do that or you can actually use this as a charger so if for example you have a phone that's dying and uh, you need to charge it and you don't have a battery bank you can actually use this as one like that so you can plug this into there you can then plug into your phone and charge your phone so this goes both ways really really nice feature there then we have actually an LED panel on the side so you can use this as a lantern where you can set it up and then it can just shine out from the side and you know you're not sitting there trying to hold it in place you can have it set up and uh, see where you're going and then of course you have your little thumb switch here 
and uh, we'll sit here. We'll go ahead and turn it on right now, but I won't worry about blinding you just yet. Uh, so we've got one here, and you can see there's blue LEDs right there, and those blue LEDs tell you how charged these batteries are. Obviously, we've got the light coming out the end there. If we hit it again, it goes into a lower beam, so that was high, and now this is like a low. Now we've got the flash feature, and then it's off. Now, of course, just as with any of the LED style uh, lights here, it does have a focus feature, and so you just slide it in and out. Uh, there have been other ones that I've gotten where they twist. This one's a slide. It's fairly, fairly stiff so that it doesn't just rattle back around or anything. And then, of course, as you can see here, it does use the square style LED. Uh, what you want to do to get the side light on is actually click it twice very quickly. So you go one, two, and there we go. And we've got the high beam or the brightest side light. And then we click it once, and then we go to the lower setting. So if you don't need quite as much light or you want to save battery. And then if you click it again, we've got red. And then uh, from there, we also have one more feature, which is a flashing red. All right, everybody. Well, we're out. This is actually a park. I am standing in a softball field. And way over there where those lights are at, that is a t-ball field that is uh, on the other side of the softball field. So uh, this is roughly about 100 yards across. I've got the flashlight here, and I'm going to go ahead and light her up, find the button here. And Okay, now this is low. You can see how well it's lighting everything up. And this is the wide beam. Nice and bright. Shines out quite a ways. Pretty much uh, lights up the entire infield and then of course you can see well beyond um, a little bit better as well like you can kind of see, you can see roughly how it lights up in the back there and then uh, I can take and zoom it down and focus that beam and you can see of course I can get it to shine out quite a bit further now that's on low Let's go ahead and get it up to high. And there, yeah. Yeah, that's that's high, reflecting off the snow. You can see how much brighter it is. And uh, this looks a little yellow on the screen. Um, it's much whiter, more of a blue. Uh, and then you can see it, it lights up and you can see pretty much almost to the, uh, to the other infield. If I focus it down, you can see that square, and uh, it's hard to see here, but I am easily lighting up, kind of see that crossbar there. That is the crossbar to the opposite uh, back fence to the, uh, to the ball field. You can see, of course, I'm lighting up the fence signs. Those fence signs are on the other side of the street that are on the other side of that, uh, that ball field. There is lighting from the side beam. So you can see obviously not nearly as bright as either one, but it's basically kind of a close quarters thing. And then there's the low. Again, much dimmer, but it is just the side beam and it is just for very close. And then we've got the red. The red lights up with a little bit, and then of course the flashing red, which easily gets somebody's attention.